Well, as you can see, we are finally on our way. This is beautiful, isn't it? This is like the new Mumbai airport. Yeah, a lot of bags. This is by far the most <laughs> anticipated bike in India. Good. And we are finally landed. We are here in Jakarta, Indonesia to bring you an exclusive review of the Yamaha YZF R25. It has got this brand new parallel twin engine, right? Which makes what, 36 PS? and 22.6 newton meters of torque and dude this weighs in at 166 kgs wet I mean think of the power to weight ratio right so what my maths is bad but it's well ahead of the CBR 250 and I think a sliver behind the Ninja 300 as well I think I think tomorrow is gonna be good man I cannot wait oh god I cannot wait The test is going to happen at the Sentul International Circuit. It is 4.02 kilometers long and 49 feet wide. The first serious attempt outside Japan to get Formula 1 to Asia. In short, we couldn't have asked for a better setting to put Yamaha's new quarter litre bombshell through its paces. So after making us wait for more than half a decade, this is what Yamaha has come up with. And it looks good to me looks bloody good to me reverse slant dual front headlamps the air duct the shift light and the sharp pointed tail yeah this has super sport written all over it but then again yamaha is pitching this as a super bike that you can ride every day so let's see how it goes wait until we can clock the numbers on the V-Box to be sure. And also clocked a healthy top fact of almost 167 km an hour, it will breach the 180 barrier if the straight would go on for another kilometer or so. The 298mm dual piston floating disc at the front dropped its anchor at your command, but I think it can do with a little more feel. It doesn't have the cutting edge precision of the R15. There is no delta frame, the riding position isn't as committed, and the chassis geometry isn't as front biased. And that's because this isn't a track focused tool. The R25 is designed for the road, hence the softer suspension, the 50 50 weight distribution, and the relaxed road. That doesn't mean the 
It is light, nimble and it is well balanced under hard braking. The feedback from the steel chassis and the sticky tires allow you to run a hot pace lap after lap. After riding this on the racetrack, I feel that Yamaha have delivered the R25 that we were all waiting for. I still wish it was as track focused as the R15. But if you leave that aside, I think this is a phenomenal package. It looks this good. It looks beautiful. The engine is just relentless and uh, really refined at the same time. And even though Yamaha is late to the party in terms of the quarter liter segment, I think with the R25, as far as performance is concerned, they want to give their competition a run for their money. So it's all a matter of when this beauty hits the Indian shores so that we can test it comprehensively in our road test. And of course, to find out how Yamaha prices it to take on the RC200 and the RC390. So if you would like us to do a comprehensive road test of the R25 when it hits the Indian shores, please hit the subscribe button.